My name is Mark Garnas. I'm the executive director of the Kingston Canadian Film Festival, and I've worked with the organization for over 10 years now. My job is just to work with all our other staff, kind of overseeing all facets of the festival and making sure everybody's happy and all the work gets done, and uh, it's a successful festival from start to finish. So this will be our 23rd edition, We're going to run it this year. I think it was in some ways more challenging to run the festival the last two years, even though um, we didn't need as much staff when we were entirely online and, and in many ways, it was easier to deliver the actual festival. It was kind of relearning what we had done 19 and a half times before. So I'd say that the two pandemic festivals were in some ways more challenging. Um, whereas this year, it almost, there's a bit of a sense of comfort kind of going back to the way things were run for 19 successful editions before the, the, the pandemic. Through the two different festivals, the, the digital one and the hybrid festival, like there was a lot of positives that came from those for sure. I think everybody's more than ready to, to be back to the in-person festival this year for sure. So people in Kingston love hearing about Kingston. They love hearing about like uh, local filmmakers that are uh, taking part in the festival with films, whether they're cast or crew. So I know that's always like a, a high interest for um, patr patrons and like in, in the media, just like hearing about the local involvement. And I feel like I always say that filmmaking in Kingston is is on the rise and there's there's more local involvement but I would truly say this year more than any other there is way more local at the festival this year that wasn't necessarily our our, our programming objective but it kind of it just came about organically that way and I think it's just a testament to like the, the Kingston film community is growing when people are just kind of asking me to provide like a quick sort of snapshot of what's happening at the festival and what kind of stands out this year I would say it is the the strong local component to, to what's happening it's about 18 months from start to finish and that's like marking the first like um applications and grants and a lot of the funding by the time we get to the holidays in december things things are getting pretty real and we like to know what we're showing and we like to have all our staffing in place and things like fundraising and sponsorship a lot of that happens in the preceding summer when the new year hits in january it's like you know we're just kind of heads down and hard at, hard at work just ironing out all the little details from like the parties to the the staffing and volunteers it's a lot of work and it just kind of um the closer we get to the festival the more work there is but yeah i'd say that like a full festival cycle for planning is about 18 months. So I also work in music and I think it's easy to explain what a music music festival looks like, but I feel like a film festival for people that have never been to one is just a little harder to like grasp what actually happens. Like, what do you do? Do you just go and watch movies with a bunch of people? And like, yeah, that does happen for sure, but it's so much more dynamic than just a regular a night out at the movies. Like, so I think one of the one of the big intangibles is things like having the filmmakers in attendance often there to introduce the films or come up at the end of the film for Q and A's. We're still a fairly small Canadian film festival. We're not often getting like A-list Hollywood celebrities coming to to KCFFs, oftentimes the most impactful uh, Q&A or interaction that will happen might be with a documentary film where you're seeing a subject on screen for 90 minutes or, or the length of a film go through something in their life um, and then have them come up uh, to the, the front of the theater to do the Q&A at the end. It, it, you know, even though they are not an A-list Hollywood celebrity, it creates a little bit of that impact where you're, it's a bit of like a wow moment, like, oh my God, that person I saw on, on, on screen went through this real life experience is now right in front of me. It has that that weird effect. The the pandemic festivals that we ran, I think the a lot of what we lost was that actual in-person human connection that you get from being at the festival. And sometimes it's the the filmmaker or the person doing the Q and A. Sometimes it's the people that you see standing in line talking about movies, interactions you have with like um, other other filmmakers and attendees and sponsors and just like all those moving pieces that come together for such a sh short amount of time. I guess on one hand, hard to describe. And I think that's why it is a bit more challenging to describe than let's say a music festival. It's so much more than just a weekend out at the movies. I encourage everybody to come out and, and check something out. We have We have documentaries and dramas and all different kinds of genres. So come check it out. And I think it's it's one of those things usually when people attend, they they come back and they tell their friends. But it's, you know, just kind of getting that foot in the door to, to check us out for the first time is is sometimes maybe the biggest hurdle. So yeah, hopefully we have something for everybody this year and, and people can check us out.